Most of the Washington establishment has been gung-ho for all this. As we just said, one of the few lawmakers who isn't is Hawaii Congresswoman Tulsi Gabbard, a Democrat who criticized the es escalation as reckless and warned it could cause a much broader war. She joins us tonight from Hawaii. Congresswoman, thanks for coming on. So, Aloha, um, Tucker. You have heard media outlets that probably support you generally describe people who have qualms about what happened last night as bigots. How do you, do you think that's a fair characterization? We, as the American people, should be concerned when any president of the United States launches an illegal and unconstitutional military strike against a foreign government. Uh, this is something that Congress has not authorized, and it's an escalation of a counterproductive regime change war in Syria that our country's been waging for years. First, for many years, through the CIA covertly, and now overtly through President Trump's reckless military strike last night. Uh, as you know well, Tucker, this is a war that has cost hundreds of thousands of Syrian lives. It has caused millions of Syrian refugees to flee their home. And it has strengthened these terrorist groups operating on the ground in Syria, like al-Qaeda, al-Nusra, ISIS, and others, whose sole goal is to overthrow the Syrian government to, to take over and, and take ownership right. over Syria. So uh, th this attack, last night's um, mission, was predicated on this sarin gas attack earlier in the week. And everyone we've talked to on this show, people with access, in some cases, to classified uh, intelligence, has said unequivocally the Assad government did this, kill these children with poison gas. Do you believe that? It doesn't matter what I believe or not. What matters is evidence and facts. Uh, and Do you think there the is Trump evidence administration for that? Has, if the Trump administration has the evidence unequivocally proving this, then share it with the American people. Share it with Congress. Come to Congress and make your case before launching an unauthorized illegal military strike against a foreign government. You know, Iraq is not so far off in our memories, especially for people like me who not only served there, but who lost friends there. And we remember when the, the then Bush administration, uh, including Colin Powell and others, came to Congress and came to the United Nations presenting so-called evidence of weapons of mass destruction that later proved to be false. Right. So the disaster that is Iraq war was predicated on so-called uh, evidence. So I think it pays for the American people and members of Congress to be uh, very careful, thoughtful, and skeptical. Uh, and to support, frankly, what the United Nations was working on yesterday before this uh, military strike was launched in immediately launching an independent international neutral investigation to gather that evidence, gather the facts so that that can be presented. Right. So I guess one of the differences between the early Iraq war and now is that there seems to be very little dissent on the left, or at least among mainstream liberals. They all seem for this, all the big media outlets, all the punditry on television suggests support for Donald Trump from the left. Have you noticed that? And what, what accounts for that, do you think? Uh, I, I don't guess to know where people are coming from or why, but I really wish personally uh, as a veteran that especially people in positions of power, whether they be in the media or in Congress, in Washington, to be very careful in understanding exactly what the cost of these wars are and what the consequences of a reckless action like the one President Trump took last night uh, will result in. Uh, you know, we are seeing already how taking this action by weakening the Syrian government, the Syrian military, uh, de facto you are strengthening and empowering these terrorist groups like al-Qaeda uh, in their effort, again, to take over all of Syria. Uh, we are seeing an increase in the likelihood or the possibility that we, the United States, end up in a direct military conflict with Russia, who are very closely allied with Syria and who have their own military operating in the ground there. Uh, and when you consider the consequences of that, the United States and Russia being the two nuclear powers in the world, uh, it should cause, it should be a cause of great concern for everyone. Yeah, you'd think, except they hacked our election, so we have to. Congressman, Congresswoman, thank you for joining us. We're out of time. It's really nice to see you tonight. Thanks for doing Thanks, this. Thanks, Tucker. Aloha.